Hello and welcome to another episode of Tursku. Uh, this time we are starting to impregnate the uh, cabin parts of Tursku. Uh, I've been skipping few, sk- skipping filming a few parts of the process we I've done done over here, and uh, I'm gonna go through them first. So let's go. So everything is sanded down over there, and uh, I also did did a light sanding for the hull, where uh, I'm giving a light refresh on the varnish over there also. But the uh, cabin is the uh, major part over here, and uh, I also uh, did did some caulking over there, where on the seams that had cracked up. So I did saw the seams open just a little bit so I could get the uh, bedding compound or the uh, how, how do you call it caulking could get and get into the seams. Uh, uh, I used elastic polyurethane uh, Sigaflex 291 I for it and hopefully it'll last over there so. We'll see over the years how it will how it will be. So uh, yeah, but yeah, back, back to today's work. So uh, we're just gonna start putting in the impregnation oil. I uh, have this bucket over here of this Hempel wood impreg. There's a 20 liter can of it. Uh, I think we're gonna need only something like two or three liters, but we won't run out if more is needed. So let's go. So how does it work? So well, we're just gonna have f- few brushes and uh, we're just gonna put wet on wet as long as the wood takes it in and uh, it's probably gonna take a two or three four hours. It's a quite quick process after all. Uh, usually you, one, one should, should use the uh, linseed oil to impregnate the wood, but uh, it, it takes several weeks to put it in and to let it dry. So uh, this is the fa- fast lane version of impregnation to use these uh, more modern Modern oils, it is not as good as the linseed oil would be, but uh, with the timetable uh, I'm having right now, it's gonna be just that. So, uh, yeah.
so after maybe three hours and few liters and uh, seven rounds of using the oil to the wood it starts to slow down on taking it in so uh, we're gonna still continue just a little bit and then call it a day uh, yeah looks good so far the color color is quite pretty if I may say that So, a few days have passed since the uh, oiling or impregnating project. Uh, it's been, been a bit colder for a few days, so uh, there, there hasn't been any action. Action for, for now, but uh, it seems like uh, the uh, The ma mahogany turned, took the oil in and in, in, it looks pretty good right now and also the uh, hull has been sanded Sanded broken with uh, with 240 grit sandpaper, so it is also ready for var varnish So yeah, now it's just just a few days of waiting the weather forecast looked like then there would be a warmer period coming up. Uh, the, the varnish needs needs something like uh, at least 10, 10 degrees Celsius to dry out, so uh, that is needed. So uh, yeah, I, I think that that's it for this, this episode. Uh, everything seems to be okay, and now it's just just a little bit of waiting for the weather to get warmer. So uh, thank you for watching, this was a bit, a bit shorter, well I, I don't know is it shorter but a bit less information in this episode but that's how it is sometimes. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the next episode will be more informative. So thank you for watching, uh, please uh, Leave a comment and subscribe and li like to the vi videos if you if you did like them. And uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. See ya!